winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 low. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video. Today we're gonna be doing some work in Blender here. Um, I have this international lodestar truck uh, this is a mod that I downloaded from ATF modding and it's pretty nice but I don't know it just something about it that I don't like but um, what I'm gonna do what I want to do is I want to remake this thing or redo it you know give it a nice AO texture make it work with dirt all that stuff better textures and I want to you know do some work on the grain box because the main thing that I want to do is make this similar to the truck that um, was owned by a guy I used to work for so um, we're just gonna go ahead and get everything imported here So we need 0 0.01. 0 .01. Okay, so there's the truck itself. So this is just the main body of the truck. That's all that is. So now we'll import the wheels one by one. Left front is what that one is. Oops. Did not mean to hit that three. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to zero this thing. Otherwise, in game, it will not rotate correctly. Oops, I'm wanting to use the Giants Editor controls here. Okay, so now I need to see here, how does this line up? About like that. Nope, down much farther. Forward a little bit and let's see how can I align this here? That's definitely not it. Actually, okay, let's just get rid of that. We'll work on this truck here. So it's really a, you know, nice truck and all. It just, I don't know, something about it just doesn't suit me. And so I would like to do some work to it. Uh, actually, a lot of work. So we're going to start separating by separating these horns. Selection. Actually, we'll just separate all the chrome parts out here. Okay, so we'll remove the visibility of that. And then what we'll do is we'll go here, go like this, wireframe. Okay, so now we're down to just that there. Okay, so there's the horns. So now these two pieces can go back on the truck. Okay. 
Okay, now we'll separate the lights. Actually, I don't need to be in that mode. So yeah, I was going to do a video of my duo lift trailer today for today's Thursday modding, but I went to go work on it and found that I have to do a little bit of touch-up in Blender because I have some missing, some invisible stuff on the... Uh, on it so I don't know what what the deal is there but so I gotta fix that okay so now we gotta select the part that is orange Okay. I'm not going to be able to do this the way that I want, am I? Maybe now I can. Maybe I can even just go like this on it. far don't want to have anything selected over there Okay, now this one we can do the wireframe on. The fast selection of it. Uh oh. I got a little too much. Okay, so. And then if we take. These, join them. Uh, cab, light, orange. And then that can go, uh, oh, well, yeah. That can go under the cab lights. So this truck looks kind of messy now, but. Oh, well. Okay, so let's get these windows out of here. Sadly, it doesn't have any windows in the door. I'm not sure why. Oh well. 
Guess if I really wanted some that badly, I could just add some or something, but I'm not too terribly worried about it. Export selection, windows, and gone. Okay, now we're going to work on the mirrors. Get some of this other chrome off of here. Need to find a better view here so I can actually see to select what I want. I'll just try and deselect some of this stuff that got selected. Selection. Okay, now we got some more pieces here. Ugh, come on. Whoa. Guess I didn't even look at what this piece is here. Is that for. Must be for the hood, yeah. It is. Perfect. There's that piece. Okay, so now we'll just do the door handle on this side, and then this side's done. Then we'll move on over. Oh, there's some stuff in here too. Um, Let's try and do this side differently. Maybe I can do it all a little bit f faster and easier. If I just select everything. Especially since I know all of what needs to be selected. So now we can just go ahead and deselect everything that doesn't need to be selected.
Okay, so there's still some parts selected here. Ooh, there's a lot of parts back in there. Oops, not deleting anything. No, thank you. Just deselecting it. Okay, that was a little bit uh, faster and easier there. Okay, and then we'll make these chrome as well. Except I'm going to have to remove some of that fender from it. Actually, you know what? Let's just go like this here. Okay, we'll just continue on like this then. Okay, do we have the fuel tank selected? Not quite. Oh man, I just totally ruined it there. Okay, so now we'll just try and deselect whatever I can find easily that does not need to be selected. Oh, that's actually the cab right there. So I don't need that selected up there. Okay. Wow, I really got stuff selected. Well, it's kind of hard when things are in you know, tight spots like that. It's kind of hard to figure out what's what. That's it. Yep. Okay. So there's that. Okay, so maybe it would be better just to go like this. Actually, here we go. I might be able to get a good shot at this and just be able to select a whole lot less but still be able to get the whole fuel tank. Er, step, not fuel tank. The fuel tank is next. Okay, so now we'll just deselect what we don't need.
Okay, so that step's done. Okay, actually, that's not next. Uh, let's finish getting Chrome off of here. Maybe. And, you know what? Okay, so this guy here is going to be Chrome. This back bumper here. So this is most likely not going to be exactly like my old boss's truck, especially because it's been a long, long time since I've seen that truck even. Um, I don't know how long it's been since I've seen that thing. But also just because, you know, I kind of also want to add some of my own personal touches to it, you know, like things that I... You know, since I'll be using it, just kind of like, you know, oh, I'd kind of actually like to do this instead, or, you know, this, or whatever. Just kind of making changes to make it be the way that I want it to, kind of, I guess is how I'd put that. Okay, um, I'm just going to do this an easier way. A lot of the time I find this much easier to do this way than any other way. Just select it all and then start getting rid of it. that one gotta make sure I'm not gonna select the steering wheel or anything Another thing that won't be exactly the same is paint because, you know, I kind of have a rough memory of what color it was. I remember it was like a dark, you know, older green, or not older, but, you know, like a darker green color. I remember that, but further than that, I really don't remember. Ooh, it's even got a full motor in it. Sweet. I could... I could make this hood open. That'd be cool. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to quit messing around with the chrome stuff now. Because the rest of it's just up here, and I really don't want to mess with that right now. We're going to open that all the way. And then chrome. So, dun, 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 dun. There's all of our chrome so far. Okay, so let's get this fuel tank off of here. Because that's going to be black. In fact, actually, this whole frame is going to be black. Except for leaf springs and exhaust. But the rest of it will all be black. And plus, minus the lights. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and select everything back here. And then we can just work on separating it out. Okay, so just this. Well, actually, I'm just going to remove this entire light thing. And then the lights will just be their own thing. Plus the license plate back here. That'll also have custom license plates. Okay, so now the rest of it's all under the cab. That's going to be a bit tougher to get at, but... Selection... Frame... Bye-bye. Oh, and I'm going to try and pick this up here. Pick some of these pieces up. The ones that I can anyways, because some of these can only be selected farther up, so obviously can't do those ones. Like, basically whatever's left here, this all has to be selected farther up. So then the motor I have to do separately and everything too. So. So this and this, that down to frame. And we'll get rid of that. Now. So that's going out. And. This minus the license plate, obviously. And the mount, because the mount will be chrome. Okay, and then that. So these two can join together, and these are tail lights. And then I need to Okay, so I don't need that right now. That's for another video. International Load Star rear end just because I want to see how they have these lights set up on these hmm so now this is kind of what his looked like a lot similar except it was just a dark green color kind of that's a pretty sharp looking truck too. Rear bumper maybe. Oops. Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> Didn't mean to type two R's. Okay, do I maybe need to put Tail lights. Okay, well, I guess that's all for this video, so. Um, those are aftermarkets. Yeah, I'll figure some more out on this. But, uh, yeah, so between this video and next video, what I'll do is try and get this cab and hood and stuff separated out from the rest of it. And then we can work on the wheels in the next video. So, 
Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Um, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. My PC specs and my upload schedule are also listed down there. Be sure to check all that out, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.